Hi, welcome back to another tutorial from Motion Builder. In this tutorial, we're going to fix a bobblehead. And by that I mean, I'll, I'll give you an example here. If I push play, you can see this particular character. His head is bobbling. This is a uh, motion capture file that I did a looping run cycle with, and I've edited a little bit. And you can see this character's head bobbling all over the place. Kind of goofy. Well, how do you fix that? Here's an easy way to do that. Rather than animating it, you can do a quick aim constraint, which basically means I'm going to aim this guy, I'm going to have him aim his, his head looking at a particular ob object, and he's going to continue to, his body's going to continue to move, but the head is always going to be aimed straight at that. Almost uh, basically in reality, when you're running, your head is staying, is, is staying straight to try and focus on where you're running to. And so it would be not it wouldn't be bobbling like this, so you wouldn't be able to see where you're going. So let's do that very quickly. And you can go to the asset browser here or window and go to your asset browser down here. Um, and right up there. So let's uh, let's go ahead and grab a null and let's hit control A so we can see the skeleton or control rig and left click and just drag it onto the top node where the, the head is. That's the head effector. Let go. And then over here under properties, you can see here this is the null that it's that's selected. It's right here, null. And now you want to look, do the look and size of this. I'm just going to type in, let's say, 500. So you can see it. Okay? And first, also, if you want to get rid of this, the grids in your viewport, very simple to do as well and you're seeing you've got cameras every single one of these has its own uh, attributes basically so if you you know that we're in the front viewport so you can select that and then go to properties under camera camera settings you can uh, turn off the grid um, so it's down here underneath the show and you just click the uncheck button and now there's no grid there to get in your way when you're viewing stuff so you can now you can really see the bobbling. So let's fix that head. Control A again. And let's scrub down to frame 4. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the perspective view for this run. And you can see that's where the null is. Now I'm going to take that and I'm going to move it in it and it's uh, actually in global Z. I'm going to move it out here so he can continue running and look at it. Perspective, or actually orthographic front, so it looks like it's straight ahead. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the asset browser and we're going to go to constraints, and in here is the aim constraint. So left click, select, and you can drag it right over to the locator and set that as the source object. And then down here under um, its properties, you'll see the constraint settings. Here's the null for the aim object. This is where the head's going to aim. And then you can grab the head over here or over here. And then make sure that this is turned off the translate button. And push down the X and drag that over to the constrained object. And then snap so there's no, um, uh, so it keeps the offset. And now if you push play, it'll still bobble a little bit. And what we need to do is we need to adjust the reach for the translate and rotate. And what that is is basically it's the IK for the head and it, what it does is if you push that if you click that on 100%, it'll it'll follow that or look at that that aim constraint 100%. And go ahead and key that as well. So now if you hit control A, he's looking right at it. Perfect. Okay, go to perspective view. F for frame. And there you go. Simple as that. And now you can bake it down. 
You can plot it to the skeleton, and then you can go plot it to the rig. So now both of them are on there, and you can actually go back in here and delete the constraint as well. So it's down here under constraints, and you see a little aim constraint down here. You can delete that all together, and you can get some warnings and say yes, it doesn't matter. And now the head is already baked, so there it is. Now you can start doing more layers and, and adjust the hands and everything else, and we'll do that in later tutorials. Thanks so much for watching.